All right, so spack. Old spacky. Yeah, this is also another major thing about this, is that, I know it may seem silly, but it moved away from Mega Man naming every enemy something man. It changed it to animal of something. Something animal. <laughs> another thing it brought back that Mega Man had been sorely missing since 4 was good music. Like, the Mega Man musics were, like, one had a couple of good tracks, two was fairly solid all around, and, oh god, two was fairly solid all around, and three had some absolutely stellar tracks, and then it had a couple that weren't so hot. Alright, ostrich with freaking buzzsaw on your head. Ow, dude! That was unnecessary. Come out. I know you want to hit me. Ha ha, not that time. Buddy. Buddy. Buddy old pal. Get out of my face. It's not here, is it? No, man. It's obvious. I'm pretty sure that our container is... Where it is, is not, it's an obvious. Ooh, hey, hey, everybody. Alright. Whack. No! I swear those bubbles move towards you. Uh oh. Yeah. Kind of what I figured. He had me boxed in. What? Okay. I don't know why I'm doing so terribly. I, I swear I'm actually pretty good at Mega Man games. <laughs> Just trying to make me angry, is that it? Well, you're succeeding. Oh, good God. Tried to get a dash out there and nothing happened. Wow, that's surprising. Uh, much better. If I can get to this, yeah, so if I can get to this guy with uh, full life, I should have a much better chance of beating him. Got you, sucker. You're done. I had to concentrate there and be quiet a little bit. I apologize for anybody who was missing my lilting voice, but uh, that guy was uh, getting under my skin there. Yeah. There we go. Okay, up to a oh god. Ah. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, that actually worked against me. That's what I'm talking about. I backed up to try to give myself some tact some room for a tactical advantage, and all I ended up doing was hurting myself in the long run. So that 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 single enemy, instead of only hitting me once, got to hit me twice. Man, no life, huh? Here it is. So this is that heart container. You just have to have... There we go. Oh, don't... Oh, there we go. Alright, cool.
There we are. Yeah, dude, it's all about the dash shooting. Oh, wow, that's some serious range. I was nowhere near that blast radius. Well, I mean, I guess I was, but... I wasn't in the blast radius. Hey, there. Ah, oh, come on! Wow, that should have been two, but I was still... I was still in a uh, hit stun. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's see how many lives I have left, if it's worth it to... I still got a life left. Um, you know, if you time this right, you can take this guy out without getting touched. You just have to time it right. He's Christmas Tree Man! Oh, wait, no, you're not. You're a liar. Gotcha. 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 This is it. If you just time it right, you can fail miserably just like that. So see, that's all it takes is just miss your timing once and you're done. And here comes his Balrog Knuckle. So I've still got plenty of my shot left. So this time I'm going to jump and shoot so that if he decides to jump straight up to the ceiling, he won't dodge again like he did the first time. Gotcha. Gotcha. You've got to catch him right before his arms start to come down. Like, even this is a little bit late. There you go. See, that's the danger of hitting him too early is that you don't stun him. And all of a sudden, here he comes. Alright. So that's two bosses down, and I got my, uh, I got my heart container. So now we're moving on. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and check out part three.